Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're having a great day whenever and wherever you're watching this video. If this is the first video you are seeing of mine, welcome, my name is Sam and I'm so glad that you're here. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to share um, favorite items of mine that I've discovered um, that I loved while I was here in quarantine or just things that are kind of rediscovered favorites as I've been spending more time at home. Um, so I hope you find this video enjoyable. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I love, I would love to have you join um, the channel here. So I don't know about the rest of you, but at least here where I live in the United States, I live in the Midwest, we're slowly starting to reopen things up. Um, my particular location, we were shut down for I think over two months or almost two months. Um, so we were just really, you know, hunkered down here and, you know, trying to help slow the virus here where we live. And so, um, these are just things that I've kind of discovered and things that I, um, you know, was using while I was here in quarantine. And so I thought I'd share that with you guys, um, just to kind of share what I've been using, um, the past couple months. And then also these are things that you can use just in your everyday life outside of quarantine. So they're not specifically to, you know, things that you would have to use, you know, while you're just isolated in your house. These are just things that I found when I was self-isolating, um, social distancing, that kind of helped pass the time for me and things that were helpful as I was, you know, still working from home and doing things like that. So um, I kind of categorize things in different um, classifications. So I have couple of beauty things, I have some lifestyle things, I have a couple of cooking things. And so um, let's just hop on in in no really particular order. So one of the things that I've been rediscovering and it's been a, uh, an old love for me that I honestly really hadn't had time to do was read. Um, before, you know, whole this whole thing with, um, you know, this pandemic in the world, you know, I, I led a very busy life. I work a full-time job. I have a son, I'm married. You know, I'm very, um, you know, involved with different family things and, you know, friend things. And so my life was very busy. And with this whole thing of, you know, having your city shut down and reading again. And so there was a couple of books that um, helped pass the time for me and help, again, helped me rediscover my love for reading. So um, the first book that I um, purchased before this whole thing with COVID happened, and it's by Sheila Walsh, and it's called It's Okay Not to Be Okay moving forward one day at a time. And if you're not familiar with who Sheila Walsh is, she's like a Christian. Um, she used to be like a Christian recording artist. And I think now she kind of moves more into like the Christian motivational speech type of preaching type of thing. So I don't think she creates music anymore. But the reason I was drawn to this book is it really just has some really great inspirational things about just being human, right? And I think, you know, if you're a Christian, sometimes you struggle with feeling like you need to be perfect and you have to have like your SHIT together all the time. And so this book is just a beautiful reminder about how God loves you where you're at and God loves you in the midst of your junk and your stuff. And so it's just a beautiful reminder for me because I, I struggle with some things just like any, any and everybody. And so this is just a really wonderful book that just kind of takes you through a couple of different things about like, you know, why God loves you and I actually let me look in here and see like what the chapters are titled. Um, but it's like, you know, taking the first step, admitting you're stuck and you're struggling, you know, change the way you think, you know, face the what ifs if you're afraid. And so it just really tackles a lot of things that us as humans and human nature and humankind, you know, struggle with and just kind of gives like a godly Christian perspective to it. So I really enjoyed that. I'm about halfway through the book. Um, so if you are interested in what like a book review for me on this, and this is something you'd be interested in, then leave me a comment. I'd love to, you know, share that with you when I'm done reading it. But it's been a really, really great book for me. So the other thing that I've been really getting into lately um, is the Enneagram. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've been like obsessed with that lately. And I follow several people on Instagram that talk about it. And so I wanted to understand more and really it kind of came from a more self-discovery for myself like you know what kind of person I am and just kind of getting to know myself more and then how I relate to other people I find that very interesting and so there's two books that I got um and oh I forgot to mention this too a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about either came from Target or Amazon so um that book from Sheila Walsh actually I got that 
in an actual physical bookstore. But I'll link everything in the description bar. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, then you can check it out. But this one I got from Instagram, not Instagram, this, I got this from Amazon. I found it out through Instagram. I follow a girl on Instagram and um, she actually wrote this book. Her name is Gina Gomez and the book is called The Enneagram in You, Understanding Your Personality Type and How It Can Transform Your Relationships. And what I really like about this book is that she gives you a quiz. So if you're not sure about what number you are, um, then there will there's a quiz in here that you can take and it will kind of help you understand what, what number you are. If you're not familiar with the Enneagram, there's nine different uh, types of people. Um, and basically it just kind of gives you more self-reflections on what you are. So if you're curious, I'm a nine with a one wing. <laughs> so if you're, if you're familiar with that, that's what I am. Um, so it really just kind of helps you understand who you are, like I said. But what's so great about this book is that it first will tell you what your number is, and then it will give a breakdown of all the numbers. So it'll tell you like, you know, the number one is the reformer and the number three is the achiever. And for me, number nine, I'm a peacekeeper. And so then it goes into how each number interacts with each other and how you handle conflict and what one number needs from another number if you're in a romantic relationship and how you relate to each other if you're in a work relationship or if you're in a family relationship. And so it really gives you a lot of insight. It will tell you your strengths and your um, challenges with each number and then how you relate to each other. So it's a really great book if you focusing more on the Enneagram to how you relate to other people. I found this very, very helpful and I just, I like stuff like that. So this is from uh, Amazon. Again, I will have everything linked below if I can find it from Amazon. Sticking on the Enneagram theme, I also got this book. This is the personality types, using the Enneagram for self-discovery. And this is by Don Richard Risso with Russ Hudson. Um, this is like kind of like, gives you more of the history of like how the Enneagram got founded, how it started. Um, so it kind of gives you more of the back history, but similar to that book that I just talked about, it talks about the different numbers and it goes, I think this one goes way more in depth on the numbers and it really gives you a really good understanding of each number and kind of how they are and how they are around other people. Um, so it's really, really great. This one doesn't really focus on as much as about how you relate to each other. This just more deep dives into the actual numbers, right? And how they are as people and kind of um, just gives you a little bit more in depth information. So I think both are valuable. If you really are just more interested in the Enneagram just to understand what it is and the origins of it, this is way more in depth, like I said. That other book is more about relationships and how you relate to each other when you know people's numbers. So both are good and I found that one at Target, I believe. And then speaking of books again, um, this is a sticker book and this is the Animetrics. It is a huge book, guys. I mean, look at that. Just to give you kind of some scope and some scale. So the reason I got this book is, you know, I was, I'm going to be honest, I was really struggling with self-isolation and quarantine the first couple weeks. Just because, like I mentioned earlier, I was so used to just go, go, go all the time that I really struggled with just resting and settling myself and so at the time I was like I need something to help pass the time right so it doesn't feel as though I'm just so isolated and so I thought you know I need to kind of just help myself decompress but also like give myself a sense of purpose of that if that makes any sense and so I saw this on um Amazon and I was debating between a sticker book and a coloring book, and I just felt like a sticker book was a lot more fun. So it's a type of sticker books on Amazon. So this doesn't necessarily speak to you, but you want to do something sticker related or artistic in that way, just type in like sticker book for adults, um, and it will show you a whole bunch of stuff um, that you can do. So again, that was Amazon. I think I paid 12 bucks for that, so it's not too bad. So that's kind of the reading book um, sector. So now I want to move over into the cooking aspect. So if you guys watched my berry eyes tutorial, then I talked about like, you know, since we've been self isolating and we've been at home, we've embraced a lot more cooking. And so one of the things I've really been diving into is more baking. Now, if you ask me, I'm not much of like a baker. Um, I don't really bake a whole lot. I'm more of like a savory type of cook type of person. I like to actually create like whole meals versus like desserts or treats, but um, I've been really, 
into like baking different like type of breads, particularly banana bread. And so I found these on Amazon and they are just lifesavers. If any of you have ever dealt with you know you have to bake a banana bread and if you don't spray the pan correctly if you don't give it the right amount of moisture then it gets stuck in this metal pan then you have to like scrape it out and i don't know it's just kind of sometimes like a pain in the butt let's be honest and so i found these silicone pans on amazon and what's so nice is obviously it's like a non-stick so it's very slick inside so you don't have to prep them at all um, you don't have to put oil or anything in there and just because of the slickness and the silicone factor um, when it is done, all you have to do is just kind of pop it out and it's just absolutely incredible. So you can use these for breads. You can use these for meatloaf. In fact, I'm probably going to use this on a meatloaf sometime soon because we've been overdue for meatloaf and that's like one of my husband's favorite dishes. So, um, and then we have these little mini pans. So it's really up to you. You can make like little mini loaves or you can make like a larger standard loaf, but these have just been so great with cooking and just using different things. And again, those were from Amazon. And I want to say for the set of four of the minis, I have four of them here, I paid maybe $10. And then for the two of the larger ones, I think that was around $15. So still very affordable. And you're going to get great use out of them even when you're out of quarantine and maybe you just need them for everyday cooking. So that's really nice. Okay, so now let's talk about, since we're kind of talking about food, um, another thing that's food related is um, I've been discovering that I don't drink enough water. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people struggle with that. And I also struggle with not enjoying so much the taste of water. Um, a lot of times I don't really like just drinking plain water. Like I feel like I have to have something in it, like a lemon or a lime or like crystal light, something just to kind of like change up the flavor. So I wanted to um, find something that would help me drink water more, but also would be beneficial to my body. And so I was at Costco a couple weeks ago and I found these liquid IVs. And I'm sure if, if any of you have tried this, then you know what's great about it, but it's a hydration multiplier. So what that means is that you'll uh, put this in your water and it helps your body absorb more hydration. So what they claim, at least with the liquid IV here, is that if you drink one of these in your water, it's like drinking three cups of water. So it like doubles basically um, the amount of water that, you know, you're in the hydration that your body is taking in. On the packaging here, they talk about it as a like hydration express lane is what it's called because it has electrolytes and things like that in there to help your body, um, you know, recover faster. Um, so they really recommend this for people that are like athletes or people that spend a lot of time in the sun and you get dehydrated quickly. Um, I'm not an athlete, nor do I spend a lot of time in the sun, but I am, like I said, I'm just terrible at drinking water. And so I feel like this is a win-win for me where I drink water, it makes it taste good, and I'm getting a lot of extra hydration. This is in the flavor passion fruit, um, but I think they do have other flavors. This was just the flavor that they carried at Costco, at my local Costco, but I think if you go to Amazon, then they sell other flavors like lemon and lime, and I think like a berry one. So they have multiple flavors if you're not a passion fruit person, but it has a nice refreshing flavor to it, but it's not overpowering. So you can still taste a little bit of the water. Now, obviously, if you want to put more packets in there, then you can, you just have to increase your water. So one of those packets is good for every 16 ounces of water. So if you do like, you know, let's say 32 ounces of water, then you'll need two of those packets, if that makes sense. So these are great and I've just been really enjoying these and I've noticed that I've been drinking a lot more water and I don't have as many headaches, you know, dehydration headaches. Um, and I'm just noticing that my body is being a lot more hydrated when I do drink those. So that is fantastic. So um, the other thing I wanna talk about is beauty stuff now. And I have two things in the beauty department. So one thing that I've been really doing also while in quarantine and something that I will continue to uh, do once I'm, you know, fully back at work and, you know, things are fully opened here, but is self-care. Um, you know, I really neglected myself in the self-care. Like I, to be honest, I was like the last person that I thought about a lot of days because I'm so busy just serving others and serving my family that I didn't really make time for me. And, um, you know, I'm learning now that that's really important and that I need to make time for myself. So one of the things that I've been doing for me time 
is reading and then also just kind of doing different beauty treatments. And so one of the things that I picked up from Amazon is like these little eye patches. And so what you can do is you just put them underneath your eyes. They sit there for like 10 to 15 minutes and they call it an eye mask. And it really just provides like extra hydration to your eye area. Um, and I love them. I forget what the name is or what the brand is, but again, I'll have it in the description bar below, but I really love these. So I'll use them during my self care time, or if I'm doing my makeup and I'm doing my eyes first, then I'll pop one of these on, um, and just let it kind of sit into my skin after I've used my eye cream and it just kind of gives it that extra boost of hydration. Um, and I really, really love these. I got a pack of 12 in one box and I think it's like nine or $10. So it's a really, really good deal. It's less than a dollar um a pack or an, you know a set basically so really really great and I love that and I'll probably continue to repurchase these and reuse them as I you know continue to do self-care then the other thing that I got in the beauty world is these uh vegan lashes and they come in a set of five but as you can see I've already used several but um they're very full lash and these are the fake mink lash and they're from the brand called Jimmery and yeah, they're just called fake mink vegan lashes. And I got these from Amazon. And like I said, you get five pairs and I believe it's $8.99 or $9.99. So it's really, really great. What's nice about these is they are reusable. So if you want to reuse them more than one time, you can just make sure that you make sure you uh, take all the glue off and you clean them and remove them from mascara. You know, do some basic care with your lashes, but these are reusable and they advertise them as such. So. I've been using these just, you know, different makeup tutorials that I've been doing. And then also um, if I do, you know, just want to wear makeup one day just to sit around the house, <laughs> I will use these too. And they've just been really fun. And I will, I probably will repurchase these once I'm done. So. Now this is not anything that I discovered or um, purchased when I was in quarantine, but I certainly love this product and I used a lot more of it when I was in quarantine and that's my AirPods. Um, so this is them. This is the little case that they're in, but as you can see, they're just AirPods there. Um, you know, it's really difficult to, you know, kind of listen to different things, you know, when you live with other people, not that it's an issue, but you know, if I want to watch a TV show or listen to a, a TV or listen to music and my husband wants to listen to something or watch something else and then my son wants to play a video game, we don't have a very large house and so you know having multiple noises going on at the same time can be a little chaotic so i've just really been embracing my airpods lately and just hey if i want to listen to a podcast or if i want to listen to some music or if i want to watch something on youtube or on you know netflix you know i can just pull it up on my phone and then pop my airpods in and that way i'm not disturbing my husband and my son um, and that way, you know, it's not so noisy in the house. So um, if you're curious about where I got the case, the case is from Amazon. Um, if you just type in like Air, like Apple AirPod cactus case, it probably will come up. Now I will say it is a little bulky. Um, so it's not as like sleek as like some other um, AirPod cases, but I like this because it's like, you can see it. I wanted something that was a little bit larger so that way I couldn't lose my AirPods. And then to, um, you know, I could recognize it really easily in like my backpack or my purse. And then I could be like, oh, there's my AirPods versus like, you know, with the white case, they're kind of slim and sleek, which is not a problem, but sometimes it can be hard if you have a lot of things in your purse or your bag. So I don't mind the bulkiness, but maybe for some of you, you might not think that's like ideal for you and everyone has their own preferences. So you do you. But um, again, if you're interested in that, I'll try to see if I can find the link to it but if not just pull up apple airpod case cactus and you should be able to find it i paid like ten dollars for it so i'm all about that affordability y'all okay so last two items here and one of the items i'm wearing is on my face these glasses you guys so these are non-prescription glasses <laughs> what these are is that they are the blue light canceling glasses so i know that's like all the rage on instagram right now and facebook like everybody's talking about it i swear i'm not a bandwagoner well maybe i might be a little bit <laughs> but um i have been thinking about getting some blue light eyeglasses for quite some time and the reason is because I have a desk job. Um, I think I guys, I think I've told you guys here on my channel, I work in HR. 
Um, and so I'm on my computer all day long, answering emails, you know, funneling phone calls. And so I'm looking at a screen, you know, eight to 10 hours a day. I mean, I'm, I'm constantly on my computer. And I noticed I was getting these headaches and my, I would just feel fatigued and like my eyes would be tired. And so I had heard about these blue um, light glasses and I was like, you know, I don't know. That just seems a little like too convenient, right? But I kept hearing claims of like, hey, if you work on a computer all day or if you, you know, are always looking at your phone, which I am constantly too, you know, I watch a lot of my TV shows and YouTube videos on my phone. Um, and they're like, you need these blue light glasses because they'll help like your eye fatigue and you won't get headaches and things like that. And so I said, you know, let me just give it a try. So I purchased these and then I have two other pairs. I've got this pair, which is just kind of like a standard like leopard. And then I'm like obsessed with these. These are just like the clear ones. Oh my gosh, these clear ones are so cute. So I got three and then this one, this is more of like a retro feel. And I kid you not, the first day I wore my blue light glasses, I did not have a headache. My eyes were not tired. And I just felt as though I could focus more on my job because what was happening before is I would have to take breaks from my computer screen because I would just like, I'd feel this fatigue in my eyes and I would just have to like step away and take a break. I find when I wear these, I don't know if it's a placebo thing, but I really do notice a difference. So um, I'm happy I purchased these. All three of these glasses were from Amazon. Again, I will link them in the link below, in the description bar below. So, so I've been really loving these, um, you know, just from the work productivity aspect that I don't have as many headaches and I feel as though um, I'm not getting as much strain on my eyes, which is absolutely great. So there's that. And again, that's probably like one of the most favorite things that I've discovered and been using in quarantine. And then the last thing that kind of goes with the glasses is I have these lens and a screen cleansing set. So these are like little individual wipes that help clean your glasses and your computer screen and your phone screen. So it just comes in like this little pack here. You take it out, it's already pre-moistened, and then you just wipe down whatever it is. So that's really nice. Now these aren't anti like bacterial or anti, um, like they're not disinfecting in any way. I do have a set of those and these are called Phone Fresh. And these disinfect your phone screen. So at the height of COVID, I was like, you know, when everyone was disinfecting everything, I was like, I need something that can disinfect my phone. And you can't necessarily just like use like a Clorox wipe on your phone, you're not supposed to. And you can't just like use straight up bleach on your phone. So I was looking for something that would clean the screen, but also like disinfect it too. And so I found these. And these were from Amazon too. And again, they're called Phone Fresh Disinfecting screen wipes. So you can find those again, if I can, if they still have them on Amazon, then I'll link everything below. But these are really great just to like clean your screens and they do leave everything like streak free, especially on your phone, you know, cause everything's a touch screen now and you're always constantly touching your phone. It really does a good job of like cleaning everything. So, um, then I have actually one more thing. I thought I was done, but I'm not. So another thing guys that I've been loving, I'm actually grabbing them over here and putting them on my table right now is as you guys know the struggle is real with quarantine and that if your city was shut down and your location was shut down you can't get beauty services and my thing was i went over a month without having a haircut and if anybody knows if you have a short haircut like mine you have like a pixie haircut going a month without having your haircut is brutal because <laughs> you rely on like these really crisp clean lines with your hair and if it's not that way it just looks so awkward so it got to the point where i had to just slick my hair back and one of the ways that i was one of the things that i was using to kind of help me stay cute was headbands i bought so many headbands while i was in quarantine it's crazy so I have several different styles. And again, I'll link everything below where I got all of these, but like I got this beaded headband and I've got that in several colors. So I've got like a pink, a mustard, and then a light pink and then the black. I have this one that kind of has like a knockoff of like, um, it's not Burberry, is it? With like, whatever brand uses like the bumblebee as their symbol. 
And then um, I got these from Urban Outfitters. And so there's like a pink one, a leopard one, another gold one, then like an orange stripe. So I was like completely obsessed with headbands because I felt like as though I could just slick my hair back, throw some hairspray on, and then, you know, put a headband on. And I felt like I could still look presentable for when I had to do Zoom meetings for work. And I didn't really have to necessarily do my hair or figure out what in the heck and Bob I was going to do with my hair. Those were like complete lifesavers for me um, when I was in quarantine. Um, I recently did get my hair cut, so that's nice. And my hair salon is back open now. But I will continue to use those headbands because they're actually really cute. In fact, I'll put one on here right now. Which one am I going to wear? Let's wear the gold one. Yeah, see, so I mean, they're still cute. And you don't necessarily have to wear them with your hair slicked back. I mean, I feel like if you have long hair, you have short hair, these type of like top knot hair bands are so cute right now and they're so in. Um, and so I did get some of them from Amazon. Again, I'll link everything below, but those were like incredible lifesavers for me. So um, yeah, that's that was amazing. So all right, you guys. Well, that is everything that I um, enjoyed while I was in quarantine. And if you guys are still in quarantine, I'm thinking of you. Um, and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Um, and we'll get through this, everybody. I mean, I really, I really strongly believe that we'll get through this and that we'll come out stronger and we'll come out wiser in all of this. But we just got to hang in there and be positive. So hope that you all are doing that. And um, again, if you like this video and found it entertaining, go ahead and give it a, a like and thumbs up it and subscribe to my channel. I would love to uh, have you guys as subbies. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.